Never thought you'd see a 400-foot rocket caught mid-air by robotic arms, right? Well, that just happened. SpaceX made history. But what went down in this insane test flight? Let's break it all down. SpaceX successfully launched its colossal 400-foot-tall, 122-meter Starship vehicle for the fifth time on October 13, 2023, marking a significant milestone in the company's ambitious space exploration efforts. The launch took place at 8.25 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, 7.25 a.m. Local Texas Time, from SpaceX's star-based facility in South Texas, with the primary objective of advancing both Starship's reusability and spaceflight technology. One of the most groundbreaking goals of this mission was to execute a controlled landing and retrieval of the Super Heavy booster using the chopstick arms attached to the launch tower, an engineering feat that had never been attempted before. The launch was successful, with the Super Heavy booster executing a precise and controlled descent back to Earth just seven minutes after liftoff. The booster hovered near the Mechazilla launch tower, a structure equipped with enormous metal arms designed to catch and secure the rocket. Against all odds, SpaceX achieved this goal on their first try, with the Super Heavy landing perfectly in the arms of the tower. The live stream commentary captured the excitement and significance of this moment, with SpaceX's manager of quality systems engineering, Kate Tice, declaring it a day for the engineering history books, while SpaceX employees at the company's headquarters in Hawthorne, California erupted in cheers. Tice emphasized how incredible it was to catch the Super Heavy booster on the first attempt, calling it an achievement that felt absolutely insane. Dan Hood, a SpaceX spokesperson on site at the launch, added to the excitement, saying, Even in this day and age, what we just saw, that looked like magic. Indeed, the technical precision and innovative approach to booster recovery are poised to change the landscape of reusable rocketry, a core objective for SpaceX. By catching the booster directly on the launch tower, SpaceX drastically reduces the turnaround time between launches, eliminating the need to land the rocket on a remote pad or barge, and then transport it back to the launch site. This is a crucial step toward making spaceflight faster, cheaper, and more accessible, and it brings the vision of fully reusable rockets one step closer to reality. While the booster recovery was the most eye-catching aspect of Flight 5, it wasn't the only mission goal. SpaceX also aimed to test the upper stage of Starship, a 165-foot-tall 50-meter vehicle, by sending it into space and then conducting a controlled re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. 65 minutes after liftoff, the Starship upper stage completed its mission, firing three of its six engines to stabilize its descent over the Indian Ocean. While the upper stage was not intended to be recovered in this mission, the controlled splashdown and subsequent destruction of the stage represented a successful test of its capabilities. That was amazing, said Tice, commenting on the splashdown. We were not intending to recover any of Starship, so that was the best ending that we could have hoped for. Elon Musk, SpaceX's founder and CEO, also shared his excitement on social media, calling it a big step towards making life multiplanetary. This test represents an essential leap forward in the development of Starship, a vehicle designed to support deep space exploration, including missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. The Starship system's immense power and fully reusable design make it a potential game-changer in human space exploration, aligning with SpaceX's long-term goals of establishing a sustainable human presence on other planets. NASA shares this vision having selected Starship to be the crewed lunar lander for its Artemis program, which aims to return humans to the moon for the first time since the Apollo era. If all goes according to plan, Starship will be used to land NASA astronauts on the lunar surface during the Artemis III mission, currently scheduled for September 2026. Meeting such ambitious deadlines is a key priority for SpaceX, which is why the company continuously refines and tests Starship's systems. Flight 5, in particular, featured significant modifications compared to previous missions, including a completely reworked heat shield designed to enhance the vehicle's thermal protection capabilities. The improvements to the heat shield were substantial, with SpaceX technicians spending over 12,000 hours replacing the old system with newer generation tiles, an ablative backup layer, and additional protection around the vehicle's flap structures. These upgrades were essential to withstand the intense heat generated during re-entry, 
especially as the company aims for future missions involving both launch and recovery of Starship from space. Previous test flights had highlighted the challenges of re-entry, but the success of Flight 5 demonstrated that these new modifications were effective. Looking back at the previous test flights, the progress has been remarkable. Starship's first test flight in April 2023 lasted only four minutes, with the mission ending in a deliberate explosion when the rocket's two stages failed to separate properly. The company moves ever closer to realizing its vision of making humanity in multiplanetary species, with missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond firmly on the horizon. Make sure you don't miss what comes next. Subscribe for more incredible updates on SpaceX's journey to the stars.